So we will look now at the warehouse load utilization report and as we have described in the blog uh, under the setup on the inventory and warehouse management we will go into the warehouse reports node and there will be a path to the space utilization and as we can see here there is a test created as a configuration for the space utilization we are running in combination of warehouse and zones uh, to generate the data for the report and we can choose uh, locations in this case it's a bulk and picking locations that we are taking account for the space utilization calculations and of course we are able to exclude block locations as we have specified in the block so now let's look how to generate the data and as on the under the periodic on inventory warehouse management area page we can go to the schedule load utilization and I as a warehouse manager will be able to choose the master plan in this case 10 to project it to 10 days and as well choose the configuration I can project as many days as I want and uh, for the simulation purposes I can also shift between the plans in order to see what will happen if some of the other uh, master scheduling plans have been used uh, and the data transaction data from it to generate the report so I will say ok and on the batch part of course we can schedule this report to generate data automatically and normally it will be scheduled to run just after the master planning has finished uh, generating the data so uh, we will click ok and after a few moments the data will be generated and how to run this report under the reports and analyzes there will be a new report called warehouse load utilization we can click on it and we have a range of possibilities in this case we are printing it on screen and uh, I can choose to run in the load unit or site if I choose to run it on the site it will aggregate all maximum capacity on all warehouse units under that site uh, the ones that I choose of course and uh, it will show me the maximum capacity of the site against how much we are using now and what will be projected uh, space utilization in the future on the site level but if I uh, am responsible as a warehouse manager only for the couple of load units let's say two warehouses out of six seven warehouses on the site then I might uh, choose to run the report as a load unit level which means that I will on the first page on the report have all the details on the warehouse level uh, how the space it is now and how it will be in the future so let's try to run on the site level here I have ability to choose all the sites that I'm responsible for one or few it's a multi selection and uh, of course and when I have selected my space utilization setup it's a test and I can also specify what units do I want to see reporting pallets volume or weight it is important because sometimes we know that warehouse can can uh, can give us an impression that uh, all locations are uh, taken because there is a pallet on each of them but that does not mean that the volume uh, it's not free uh, because some of the pallets of course can be filled to some level and not full so that's the reason why we can shuffle between these two units to, to get a real picture and correct picture of what's going on so well, let's try to run it on pallet and here I will just select the all warehouses under the all sites I can do as I said multi selection so I can choose some warehouses and in this combination it's a warehouse and zone under the sites that I want so if I just select all and press ok I will get generated the report that it's telling me how the space utilization is currently on the different sites and warehouses and how it will be in the future so now we see site 1 and site 2 and uh, what can we see from this uh, report uh, first level picture we on the top we see that report of course it's warehouse load utilization what is also important that we can see when the MRP has been running last time which means that it gives me the picture as a warehouse manager the data is fresh it's from the 12th of 10th uh, sorry 10th of 12th um, 2012 so here it gives me indication how old master planning data am I uh, working on and uh, I can see that load type I'm viewing its palette 
showed by site because the capacity is aggregated for site one and site two. And there is a, some specific uh, way we aggregate this because if you look at the report itself, uh, le far left uh, column will always be at today's date. So we have a 0 0.63 on the site two capacity utilization and the 4750. So you probably ask yourself why 4750 it's red. It's because when we view the report on the aggregated site level, we might have one on the of the load units as we call them or warehouses um, with the problems on that day, but we can't see it because we aggregate all the warehouse uh, capacity into the site level. So what actually this indicates that full like complete capacity of the site, complete available capacity is only utilized uh, with 47.50%, but red color indicates for the warehouse manager that there might be a problem on one or several units under the site aggregated level. So if I click on the first cell, uh, I will get generated all the warehouse units under the, uh, the site one. And as we can see that warehouse one on zone three and warehouse two on zone three have problems. Uh, actually warehouse one on zone three already today. These numbers that we see either on the site aggregated level or on the detail level of each load unit here as selected uh, tells us what will be the status at the end of the day for the each of the dates after the all planned transactions have been conducted. Uh, the yellow uh, icons on the uh, sum can appear actually both on the main report as we have seen and here on the warehouse but if we go back to the first level in this case aggregated we can see that these two warning icons are showing there and as we have described in the blog page uh, this tells us the sum of the uh, setup data inventory setup data has not been set up correctly so in this case we are running pallets so what that can be it can be that pallet conversion has not been set up correctly for some of the items that are in transactions for these amount of days that we are projecting for which means that master planning has included an item in one of the transactions that is actually under the side one and under the side two where the conversion for the pallet it's not set up correctly and that means that we cannot trust these numbers so warehouse manager if she or he sees this icon of warning sign by clicking on it uh, it generates a report telling the warehouse manager what exactly it's not set up correctly and why can't we trust these numbers that we see so in this case we can see that uh, that also when the MRP date is and uh, as we can see we can see product missing measure setup so we have two products that actually are missing for warehouse 3 zone 5 and warehouse 3 zone 6 uh, so it's warehouse 3 basically it's missing the pallet conversion that's a deficiency type and on the bottom we see that actually some product missing warehouse setup there are also two products where the warehouse item setup it's missing so this report can be sent to the to the responsible people who are uh, up to fixing this and setting the data correctly or the warehouse managers can do it and then when rerunning the report the hopefully the yellow icon will disappear so yellow icon it's actually telling us if we have some data set a problem so these numbers are not calculated correctly as we want them to be um, so how do we see what it's causing this overload so as we said on the site one first cell like today we have 47 50 percent and if we click again on that we will get a detailed report for today and for the future which is on the right side with the dates above so we see that warehouse one zone three has 110 percent which means 10 percent overload and what i can do on each of these cells regardless if it is red or white I can see what transactions are planned for that uh, particular date. So if I click on the warehouse one, I can see that uh, for the 12th of 11, 2012, today, we have a two transactions. It's a, they're both regular receipts. We can actually basically see that one is confirmed, another is planned. So we are showing both, which is uh, very good because some of the let's say purchase order not necessarily will be confirmed by the vendor but they still might arrive so it's very good for the warehouse manager to have this complete picture and as we can see the purchase order with this receipt ID 
and the product it's in status confirmed actually it, it results in the 13.64 percent of the total space available on the warehouse one zone three so we can see on the left side in the repo with the red color that it's 110 percent so if i as a warehouse manager can solve this problem of this transaction which gives 13.64 then I will be on the safe side. What report can also be used for it's to see if there are any of the inventory units or in combinations of inventory uh, and zones that will not be utilized uh, much. Uh, that gives us a picture that we could use this space for something else. In some cases, a space could be rented out or uh, we could move some goods from the one inventory to another if we have uh, if we from one warehouse to another if we have a warehouse where where the where we have an overload so it gives really a very good uh, overview for the warehouse managers uh, and very fast and then um, it's very good that the simulation out of the different MRP plans can be conducted as well